Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Neil, I've got Andy on in the record and also got Dave on. Great to have you both on. Uh, thanks for taking time out. Have a, a quick recap. And I think that's all it is going to be a quick recap against Morecambe. Then we'll look forward to the Lincoln game. So, yeah, Dave, I mean, I mean, we, you know, where do we start? Where do we want to end it like a Morecambe game? What were you take on it, mate? Uh, I'd like to start and end it by saying no. I think there's nothing good can be said about it. There's no positives at all you can take from that performance. It was shocking from start to finish. And yeah, quite frankly, they have been out on the piss the night before. Hmm. It was... <laughs> they, they just looked like they were playing with hangovers. The only yeah. person getting himself around was Devante Cole. You know, and he had no support. You know, he was literally on his own. The rest of them just looked like... Sunday league footballers that had had too mm. much bevy on a Saturday night that had crawled out of bed to put in a performance like that. It was absolutely shocking and I cannot take any positives from it. Apart yeah. from the fact it's going to get better, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, just going up from that, Andy, I mean, uh, Dave said it and I said it kind of thing as well about Devante Cole is that the lad were trying, but when you're constantly getting long ball, bombarded up to you, you've got no support around you, what, what's the lad supposed to do? You know what I mean? It's It's gone back to... Like like what Dave just been saying there, it's it's your basic stuff we should be doing, but we're not doing it. Yeah, exactly. If you, you can be the best striker in the world, if you don't gain service, very, very little that you can do. You can only chase ball for so long till either your leg uh, your legs or your heart packs in, <laughs> really. Um if you don't get service, you know, you, you don't make chances. It's as simple as that. Um I mean, I do think Cole's been, uh, well, last couple of weeks, I think he's been like a different player. Um, I can't fault him. I think, it, you, you know, I'm gone from absolutely hating him and I think he's um, wearing his heart on his sleeve at the minute. You know, I, I think he's, a, he's doing all right. But if you, if you don't get ball, there's not a lot he can do. It's as simple as that. Mm. Um, I mean, I did see game. Uh, yesterday, um, I did I did go because um, of work and whatnot. But uh, I heard it was, you know, pretty poor. Um, and yeah, I saw what Duff said about supporters booing him and players. Mm -hmm. And we've got a right to, you know, if they don't put mm -hmm. uh, effort in, that's all we ask for. They don't mm -hmm. put effort in. Um, what what do they expect? Yeah, I mean, my taking it was like I'm not going to go too much into it, but I've already had my say a bit early on, like on a, a video about right. player ratings. And, and and to be fair, man at match, you want man at match, you want uh, people at match, what fans want, journey and uh, even a longer journey. I'm after that uh, performance or debacle. And like Duff said, what you were severe on days that you know, fans made the you know, the sun's heard at end of full time and uh, rate it because uh, although. Another great support again, just over 1,700 had gone. You can't be relying on them all the time. Them as a team have got to actually make us as fans buy into it. So it's refreshing to hear from him and all. But what, yeah. what's what's me? I don't want to I don't want to be falling into this kind of excuse where people are saying we're, we're missing Luke Thomas, which obviously we are. It just goes to show and hopefully it does get back well and, you know, quick recovery. But for me, looking at that, we should have a squad capable of dealing with it because one person do not make a team. It should be a, a, a complete team performance. But that doesn't excuse the soft manner which, which we've conceded goal from a throw in. Two of our players went up for the same ball. It bounced, bounced to their player five yards and put it away. So, although mm. yeah, we're missing Thomas in that respect, you still can't excuse that. Um, you know, a soft goal, in my opinion. And from then on, they, they had. You know, the tails up kind of thing. It was going to always be harder than what it was. We want creating you know, in midfield, we're non existent. We just got ball and hit it forward. And we're not, you know, you can't do that. If you'd have looked at the form table, you'd have thought we'd, we'd have been bottom at league and uh, Mark would have been up there for fate. So, so you didn't do the basics yesterday. That, that, that was what it all came down to. We couldn't pass, you know, football, mm -hmm. you pass. And I, I'm not a fan of stats. I think stats, they're very misleading. They give false stories, false impressions. Um, I would have liked to have seen the number of completed passes yesterday because it would have been very, very low. That final ball or the ball up to the strikers was always over hit. You know, yeah. it, it wasn't even long long balls either. Um, the long balls are 
another story there. That's something we 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 don't want to be doing. Um, but even the, the short passing was overhit, and it was it was dreadful. It, it, you, if you can't do the basics, then you, you've got no hope of doing anything. And they need to get yeah. back to basics and get this passing sorted out. And I think mm. Duff needs to reanalyze his starting eleven now that we haven't got Luke Thomas and know what those players are because he's been messing around with them for the last couple of games. Didn't like the formations against Exeter and Bolton. And whereas I was calling for Phillips and Martin to start yesterday, it wasn't in that formation. I would have had another player up front, Aitchison, yeah. probably, um, as Nord was suspended and fitted um, Phillips and Martin and elsewhere because you know they look a bit better when they were playing deeper and mm-hmm. they just look completely out of their depth up front yesterday. But he needs to address this issue and figure out what his starting eleven is. And um, <laughs> until you get that, you're just going to... Are people not knowing if they're playing game in, game out, where they're going to be? And, um, you know, you need, you need to get some consistency back in the team, which we had when Luke Thomas was, mm. was playing for us. And, uh, yes, it's been, a, it's been a pain. It's not the sort of thing we want to see uh, for the lad, for the team, for the fans. But you've got to, you've got to deal with it, you know. And we have got the players in the team. We know they're capable. Mm. Martin mm. Phillips neither had a good game yesterday. You can see that they can pass and they can boss midfield. We saw that in the in the Donny game, and yeah, it was a, a second-rate Donny team. But it doesn't matter about the team you're playing against. If you can pass one game, you should be able to pass another game. Yeah. The passing was outstanding in the Johnston in the Johnston Paints game. It was just non-existent yesterday from well, from majority of the players, mm. but the ones that had, had played well for us in the the Johnston Paints game, they just they looked like completely different players yesterday, yeah. completely different and not for the better. No. Yeah, Andy, what were you going to say, Matt? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so, did he play Phillips up front then? Because where, where else did he play? Uh, For me, it looked he, like he were up front or just off a of Devante Cole. They, they both looked like they were playing off the off Cole. Yeah. So, sort of like Cole up front, and they were sort of like just off. In off and around it, weren't they? Yeah. But neither looked to know exactly where they were supposed to be. Mm. Yeah. I mean, the. The midfielders are they're not uh, well. They're Phillips not is a midfielder and supposed to be Martin supposed to be like an attacking midfielder or winger, but yeah, for, in that formation it just didn't go. And I'm looking at bench and I'm thinking Tedich. Why didn't he? If we were, if we were persistent in the these long balls up front, why why didn't we bring Tedich on to try and help call out alongside him? Because it for me it just didn't work. It didn't work whatsoever. And you ever brought mm-hmm. Jallo on? Is it going to make a difference? Should we be relying on a 16 year old kid to come on? No. If I'm being honest, no. I want Lat to do well, of course I do. But yeah, we, 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 I, I can look at it and say, well, then why is Marsh going out on loan for them if we're bringing Jalo on? Because Marsh well, had more first team experience last season, yet yeah, he's going out on loan to Scunny. Yet yeah, we've got Jalo, and then he's got a couple of goals in Donny. And all of a sudden, is like including fish team affairs. And I've seen people like calling out, oh, get Dyer and uh, Jallo get more involved in fish team. And it's like, well, no. hold on a minute. We've got Ackroyd and we've got Marsh out on loan at a minute. You can't be chucking them in like that this all the time. You've got to think it long term no. plan, not short term. And again, that goes back. If we want to go back, strip it back to August recruitment. And we can, you can, it goes full circle. It goes full circle. I think me. that Jallo, you know. I think he was going down a similar path to Marsh. It, it, mm. It's it's more or less an identical path. Um, they're gradually fetching him in, and are they going to send him out on loan uh, like they did with Marsh? Um, I, I, I think they will. To me, I think that's the plan. Whether they've got to like play so many, I don't know. Whether it's like a rule and got to play so many uh, appearances at first team or whatever, I don't know. Um, and I went the other day to watch the under 21s or under 23s, whatever it's called now. Um, and uh, Dyer played, uh, young Dyer. Um, again, I might be in a minority, but he's not ready for the first team. It's a big, yeah. it's a big, uh, it's a big jump from that Papa John's trophy to first team. For me, and, keep him in them, them trophy things. That that's yeah, fine. I ain't got a problem with that. I'm, I feel, I feel. Sorry for me, long run these young lads because I think it does them more harm than good. That I mean, they're open like Jallo because there's a bit of um, 
you know, there can be a bit of talent there, which there is. Um, and they're hoping it's just going to stick. So clubs are coming. Expectations. And isn't it? Yeah. Um, and it winds me up. We shouldn't be in that position. Hmm. You know, <laughs> we're in League One, you know. Um, but now, out, <laughs> I, it, it winds me up. And I, I, it's going to do them more harm than good, I think. It, it, we shouldn't be doing that. Get on a back trying to get out of League One, Dave. Uh, two, I said two important games. I think all games are important, but we've got two home games coming up. Start a midweek game, Lincoln City. I mean, yeah, the betters in, you know, Pete, Papa John's Pizza Trophy, but again, the second string team and that. But they had a good uh, win at weekend against Wednesday, individual. Um, could they be coming to see, you know, another, another performance from Lincoln City? Because... Do you think there's going to be a lot of pressure on us to try and put in a performance, to try and get a result, even more added pressure for Duffin's side? Uh, I think they, you know, both Lincoln and Forest Green are going to come to Barnsley this week thinking they can get, get a result, get three points. Hmm. And why can't they? I mean, the last three games we've played have been horrendous to watch. Uh, we've been better away from home, which up until yesterday... Yeah. Um, was a positive thing, even the the draw at Bolton when you're you know playing against all the officials as well. It's you know that was a decent point for me coming away from from there with a point because we were completely up against it. Mm. Second best on the pitch, and uh, the officials just yeah, gave us absolutely nothing. So that was a, that was a good point. But um, yeah, yesterday we just completely destroyed the um, the good run we've had away from home, and teams are going to look at the form and see we're not in the best of form. They're going to see we've not been playing well at home. Uh, like you say, Lincoln have been 12 12 once already this season. Mm. You know, different competition, different team, but you know, they're, they're going to be well up for it. And, you know, they've, like you said, after the result against Wednesday, they've got every right to be, you know, and we need to get this sort of nipped in the bud down, turned around, because this slide is. <sighs> I didn't expect us to go up this season. I expect us to be mid table. And mm. yes, uh, the. The start, I, th- I thought things been pretty good, more than what I'd um, expected. Certainly, I know a lot of fans think we're going to go straight back up. I can't see that, but we don't want to get onto one of these slides now where we just continuously losing and losing. Mm. You know, it's it's not going to do the players any good. You know, going back to the youngsters like Jallo and Martin, you don't want to bring them into a side that's struggling because it's mm. going to do nothing for their confidence. And you know, we need to get back to playing how we know we can play. And we need to look to players, you know, that have, you know, Anderson to lift people's heads. Um, Martin and Phillips have, um, you know, they're, they're still, you know, they're relatively new to the squad, but they've um, they've got lots of game experience. They need to show what they've, you know, what what sort of experience they've got now and help the, the younger players, you know, pick themselves up from, you know, the last couple of games. And, um, you know, the next two games are, they are they're not six pointers, but they are, if you know what I mean. We need to... Yeah. Do it not for the league position, but you know for the mentality of the team and get back on track because you know we don't want to go on a you know a slide that's going to see us not winning you know double figure amount of games. That's going to do absolutely nothing for the players, nothing for their fans, and you know you know what Barnsley fans are like. I've already said it on social media they're asking for Duff to be to be out. It's you know it's ridiculous. It's been a mm. three or four bad performances. Yeah, he, he's got it wrong a few times. You know over top reaction but we need to react right now and that's got to start on Tuesday against Lincoln we need to put in a good performance we need to get back to basics on the training pitch and you know get something out of that game yeah I mean like just picking up on that Dave I'll come to you Andy like on this and all uh, that way Duff uh, I know that there were certain people in crowd what were personally aiming some abuse at like Duff and like slapping fingers up and back at Duff and I'm thinking fickle minds because look yeah it was a bad performance I get that and it's a learning curve for everybody but when you look and see what is coming to take over with no money to spend is literally had to come in with free agents what he's had to use and that and utilise and we could have been in a lot worse position if, if Duff didn't come here and it's still it's still improving it's still standards and yeah Last last few games, you know, Exeter, Bolton, and then yesterday's game, we've got to like take it in context and think, yeah, but look at previous to that, 
We had six unbeaten. Is is, is still learning, he's still understanding his players. And I think it'll take him probably another two, maybe three transfer. Well, back in August, I said two, two but I think it'll take in January and August transfer when to get him the personnel that he finally, finally needs and the players and personnel. And to be like aiming abuse to him, I'm like, really? Come on. You've got to look at bigger context and stuff. And going to Lincoln game, for me, I'd be looking for. Obviously, we want a win, but I'm looking for a reaction in the players to for the fans and more importantly for Duff because it, it came out that some of the players switched off from the game gameplay kind of thing. So that's got to be as frustrating for Duff and Patterson and Devaney, Andy, than anybody else knowing that they worked on it in training, yet for some reason they aren't stuck to it. So it's got to be seething behind closed doors, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. That you know it. Feels like he's just done his work for no, might as well have not just told him to do note so week, uh, if that's okay. But again, that's going back to um, getting that bit of experience each side to you know fetch him back in line when things are going uh, wrong and you know they're all over shop. Yeah, um, I can't believe uh, fans are turning on Duff though. Um, I mean, it's all not going to be a bed of roses, is it? You know, all the way through the season, there's going to be ups and downs. That's that's just the way it is, especially in this league as well. And like you quite rightly said as well, with free agents and lack of uh, funds to get players in. Um, no, it's like, be careful what you wish for, because mm. um, we don't want another ash baggy, do we, or um, a shop or all like that. I think we've got a good manager there. Uh, I've said that when first time he came, and I still believe that um, we've just got to give him time. It, it, it is what it is. He's, he's got these players to work with. Um, but, yeah, he does need a bit of a backing. I still think uh, we do need, um, well, I think a couple of strikers. Um, it's obvious that he doesn't even rate Tedic or the summit going off here because he didn't even come on, did he? Uh, other day at Markham. Um, but yeah, it's frustrating. It's got to be. It's got to be for them. Put all the hard work in, um, especially going on a, like a, a team bonding exercise as well. And it, it's like gone opposite way with Sam's on it. It's weird. It's weird. Uh, so we're going to come to Lincoln game, Dave. I mean, score prediction. Um, I don't know what you want to set for this, but. What do you think the score will be? Um, I'm going to go positive, and I'm going to I'm going to say a two-one home win to Barnsley. You know, it's a bad day at the office yesterday. Um, obviously, the, the fans' reactions have been made; they're well known. There's got to be a, a turnaround, and I'm hoping it's going to come on 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 Tuesday, and we're going to, you know, get that positivity back, get the play right on the field, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go with a two-one home win. 2 1 home win. Andy? Yeah, I'm going to say 2 1 actually. But, uh, yeah, you can do if you want. Yeah. Nah, to be different, I'll go for 2 0 to the Reds. 2 0 to, a, two and to a, a clean sheet. Um, I'm going to say 2 1. So I think you're more or less in the same majority of here. I just think, like what Dave said earlier and what you've said as well, we're going to be looking for like a reaction and more of a. I think Duff is, is sent or looking for a reaction from players. And I think there'll be a few own truths being said. Because um, I think when yeah. he came out and questioned by media after the game, you could tell he wasn't impressed. You could tell that uh, there was something rattling him. Uh, he was unacceptable performance. He knew his sent. And he alluded to that when he, he mentioned fans that it's, he can't be relying on fans all the time. Great support to be getting behind the team and we're not doing no top pitch to give them something to cheer about. So he, he understands. He knows, he knows what it's about. It's... And I get where you're coming from about that with experience on pitch. I'm wanting that leadership on pitch where someone can get a bit scruff at neck. If we, if we had a Michael Duff on pitch, i.e. shouts from by, by race, what I'm wanting is a, a gaffer on the sidelines. Yeah. If we had someone like yeah. that in midfield or defence, to actually get someone with scruff at neck and say, look, it's not going and dictate it. But for me, I don't see that. I don't know what your guys think in it. Well, was there a bit of... In players yesterday that 
looking at league positions, um, whether a bit of thinking, well, we've only got to turn up and we'll win type of man- mentality, which I, I was scared on before game anyway. Because complacency. Like before, right. no, notes are given in that league. Notes are given at all. Hmm. I don't, get... say, I don't know if I'd say it was that sort of mentality yesterday. I mean, for the first five minutes or so, I thought, yeah, this is looking pretty positive. Where hmm. we started off pretty well for the first five minutes, then it just all seemed to unravel. Hmm. But um, it's just um, there seems to be a massive void in the middle of the park. You know, you've got the yeah. defence and then you've got Cole up front, and there's just a massive to void. dictate our play to help us. Yeah, we, we need someone. I was I was watching the that game earlier, and. Um, Matt Grimes was just in the centre. Yeah, of the park. quality. Bossed that entire game. Bossed the midfield. Did you see if that start what come up, Dave? And it said he'd had more passes than yeah, all. That, all that. I'm like, wow, really? Yeah. yeah. But he was. He, he was everywhere. You know, yeah. he, he wanted the ball every time the ball was in that area. He wanted it, and he was mm. pinging it this way. He was pinging it that way, and we haven't got anybody in the middle of the park that can do that. Mm. And that that's what yeah. we're missing. We're not creating chances yeah. because there's we just. Again, it's like um, when Ishmael was in charge at times, we were just playing that long ball up all the time. You know, we had we had a different strike force then, and you know, sometimes it worked. We didn't like to see it, mm. but you know, we've not got you know the aerial threats up front now. We weren't you know we, we weren't winning balls in the air. You know, Cole he's a good player, but he's not physically enough to win balls in the air, and he's not going to hold the ball up for you as well either. You know, while other players get there, we mm. need someone in the middle of the park that can play the ball on the deck, out to the wings, out to the people up front. And once we get someone in there doing that, you know, with the creativity, you know, we're going to start getting more clear-cut chances. We had a couple of good chances yesterday. Mm. But, you know, some of them were more half chances than, you know, ones you'd expect them to score. And, mm. um, you know, we just I just think we're missing that one person in the middle that can put that that killer ball in to the strikers. And, um, you know, if we, get, get, if we can get that person in, then I think we've got a, a pretty good team around us to, you know, to get us a decent Jim, league finish. I'm not expecting anything miraculous, but you know, we, we've we've got the players. We just need that one that we haven't got to give us a chance to come in and do that and to create the chances. You know, the defence, apart from a few times yesterday, they looked pretty solid, mm. and um, I think it's been pretty solid a lot of the season. It's got the odd howler in it, as we've seen, but. Um, it's the other end where we're we're struggling at the moment, and yeah. we need them, them, them players in the middle to create the chances. We create the chances. We got players that are going to take the chances. Norwood's going to take his chances. Cole's going to take his chances. We just need people to set them up for him. And you know, if we can get that in, happy days. Goals, goals win your games, don't we? Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, Andy, Dave, as always, it's great to have you on and some good talk and good debates and good. Uh, Thoughts about you know direction and that what what we we need to be going as a as a team and like I say, what Dave just said via if we're not creating chances you know goal you know, we're not going to score out and end the day goals will win you odd, odd blemish in, in defensive records yeah you kind of get it but if we, if we concede we, we need to do something about it so yeah thanks for watching please like subscribe and share leave your comments below let me know your thoughts. What what school will be? Uh, Barnsley against Lincoln under under the lights at Oakwell. So thanks for joining, you Reds.